All right, bracket the howl, bracket the howl shy, bracket the howl, bracket the howl shy, bracket the howl, bracket the howl shy. Bahasham, Rakakodash, the one of the apostles of great millstone for teaching and ruling on the scriptures. Citations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. And uh, here you have it. That's what you can see here. Ten people died of overdoses within 26 hours in one Ohio county. All right. Yahweh Basham Yahusha is hitting you Edomites, man. <laughs> it's going to get worse, man. You see, the Lord is helping us <laughs> down here in Babylon the Great. All right, the Lord is destroying our enemies little by little, and you can see it here. All right, I'm going to read a little bit of this. And this is live TV, as you can see at the top. Ten people died of overdoses within the last 24, 26 hours in one Ohio county. All right, so you Edomites, you, you Edomites, man, you're getting it, man. <laughs> Just like we had the crack epidemic in the 80s. All right, this opioid epidemic is destroying you Edomites, man. The fentanyl, overdose, overdoses, as you can see here. All right. This is the end for you Edomites, man. It says one Ohio county had an unusually high number of overdose, overdose deaths in a little, in little over a day, the county's coroner said. As of about 10 a.m. this morning, we have had 10 people die of overdoses in about 26 hours. <laughs> Call all you how about Shemi Shai. Franklin County Coroner Dr. Anai Ortiz said on Facebook Sunday, I urge friends and family of those who to, of those who use to make sure you are armed with Naxalone, which is a kind of a, it kind of does a, it's a kind of a, for the people that do the fentanyl, it is a, uh, it 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 pushes the it pushes the fentanyl a different way. It it kind of counteracts the fentanyl. This is what they give these uh these op these uh heroin addicts and these fentanyl addicts. They give them the the nox the the nail zone. All right, and that's what they and and this just shows you, man, <laughs> that you eat them, so you you're getting you're you're out of there, man. <laughs> You see, you're at the end of your kingdom. This is why you're on all these drugs, man. All right, that's so why you have uh, drug addict fentanyl using, heroin using, Edomites travel from train car to train car in all of the cities now, man. And you see them all out in the begging for food and change and stuff like that, man. You Edomites are finished, man. Okay. I urge friends and family family of those who use to make sure you are armed with Naxalone or Ortiz said on Facebook. Those who use should also test before using with fentanyl test strips. Fentanyl can be mixed with cocaine and methamphetamine to create a deadly combination, the coroner said. And this is what's killing you Edomites, man. Alright? The last peak of overdoses that the coroner's office posted about was in August 12th when six people died in less than 24 hours. The majority of overdose deaths continue to be fentanyl related. The coroner, the coroner said in state in the statement, this is the, the fentanyl epidemic for you Edomites, man. Okay, let's get some scriptures, man. This, you Edomites are finished, man. I'm tired of looking at you and I'm tired of this damn kingdom, man. It's a trash dump. And all Akim, <laughs> we want to get out of this place, man. That's why we pray each and every day for the Lord to come and, you know, save us out of this terrible condition that we're in. Although we're in a better condition than them because the Lord is actually destroying them little by little. This is Deuteronomy 30. This is Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. I'm going to start at 6. And Yahweh thy power will circumcise thine heart. And the heart of thy seed to love the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, thy power, with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that thou mayest live. And that's what the Lord is doing with us. He's circumcising our mind to come back to these law, statutes, and commandments so that he can set us up. All right, and they're seeing this. All right, they're seeing the, the prophecy come to pass where it says that uh, he will set us in order before their eyes. You see? That's what's taking place. It says, And Yahweh thy power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. And that's what's taking place. And also, let's see what else is taking place. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 7. 
and Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And that's what's happening. That's this this, this fentanyl epidemic is a part of the curses that Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is putting on the biblical Edomites. Because they are our enemies, it says in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, that we will be sold to our enemies. Alright, so you either might start getting <laughs> the plagues and the curses of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua. Alright? And Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And thou, you is us Israelites, the remnant, shall return and obey the voice of Yahweh and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. That's what's taking place. And that's and you Edomites are finished, man. Okay, because the Lord is remembering you, man. All right, the Lord is remembering your sins, man. And he's visiting you. This is Psalms. Let's get this Psalms chapter one thirty seven, verse seven. It says, "Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom." And that's what's happening. We're living in a time where the Lord is remembering the children of Edom. You read in Second Ezra the sixth chapter that the end of the world, Esau, is the end of the world. You read in Romans the ninth chapter that the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahshai hates Esau, and he loves Jacob. He loves you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and that's why you see him pulling their structure down. He's pulling their economy down. He's pulling their people down, and he's pulled all. The, he's pulled off all the wisdom of Esau. All right, and now we're seeing the biblical Edomites nakedness, man. <laughs> we see that the Lord is fucking jacking you up, man. And it's going to get worse. Psalms 137 and 7. This is just the beginning of sorrows, as Matthew, the 24th chapter says. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed. So Edom is synonymous with all right, Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon, which we currently live in. All right, So this, show, this shows you that. Who this shows you what nation will be ruling the daughter of Babylon or Babylon the Great spoken of in the scriptures, the children of Edom. Psalms 137 and 8, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. So you're being rewarded as you have served us. You put crack in our communities, the Lord has put fentanyl in your communities. And it's going to be even worse than the crack epidemic. You Edomites are going to start dying by the droves. And this is from a higher power. This is this is who you call ignorantly call God doing this to you, man. All right, which we know to be Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, the Lord and living power and the God of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Psalms one thirty-seven and eight, O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that reward of thee, as thou hast served us. All right, so the Most High is happy to reward thee, as thou hast served us, man. All right, we're happy to we're happy that you're being you're being rewarded as you have served us, man. This is beautiful, man. All right, now you can see how the crack epidemic feel. Now you can see how the crack, uh, uh, uh <laughs> the crack epidemic is still going on in our community. Our people are still taking the crack, man. All right, it hasn't stopped. They're still taking all kinds of dr drugs and heroin and all types of things. They're taking the fentanyl with you, the wicked of our people. But ultimately, it's a curse to you Edomites, man, because this is a, it's a very huge epidemic and it's growing. I was just at a, a presentation or a seminar the other day and the actual the, the presenters, all right, the presenter's brother, he was a, he was an Edomite, of course, super Edomite. His brother died of, 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 of an overdose of opioids. You Edomites are finished, man. The Lord is visiting you. This is Lamentations. And we just have to wait it out for the Lord to really come down on you. Levitations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. So continue to do all these drugs. All right. Continue to live your best life. And this is talking to you heathens and two thirds of our people, man, because they're following your ways. Because what's going to happen to what's going to happen is you all are going to get destroyed. Levitations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup. The cup of all the things we've went through, slavery, rape, robbery, murder, oppression, being the last hired, the first fired, living paycheck to paycheck, uh, our people being on drugs, all right, single parent households, that cup is passing on to you Edomites, man. Lamentations 4 and 21, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom that dwellest in the land of Uz, 
the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and that's what's happening. All these overdoses. All right, all, all you, you have no more wisdom. You have no more answers for your society. All right, it's failing. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, you Israelites. That's why we're coming back to this knowledge, because our a punishment is our 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 iniquity and our punishment is accomplished, saith the Lord. All right, now we just have to wait for Him to come redeem us and give us salvation. All right, Lord willing, we're all those men, and Lord willing, we're 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 we're, we're uh, worthy, you know. O daughter of Zion, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. So we're not going into captivity again after this. We're going to rule the world under Yahweh Shai forever when he comes with them chariots. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. That's our, that's our Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. And that's what we're seeing take place. You Edomites are becoming the offscouring of the world. We're switching places, man. Okay. Why? Because the Most High ruled in the kingdom of men, and he set it up one and bring it down another. Let's get it, and I'm going to get out of here, because that's what he's doing. All right, he's setting up the nation of Israel, and he's bringing down you you, you Edomites, man. All right, putting curses on you, putting fentanyl in your, in your communities. <laughs> you see, what happened what, what, what happened to us is happening to you, and it's going to continue to happen until you're destroyed, man. All right, this is... uh. Psalm 75 and 7, because you, you, you might have thought you got away with all the things you've been doing to our people, man. You think you're going to live in deliciousness forever. It says that, that's why it says that you you thought that your house would continue forever, man. But that's not true. Psalm 75. Bear with me one second. Psalm 75, and the Lord is promoting the nation of Israel. The Lord has a, the Lord has given us a promotion. That's why we have these scriptures, man. We're being promoted to rule the world, and you're being demoted to go into slavery. All right, you're being demoted so that you can be ultimately destroyed, man. Because the Lord is it, the Lord rules in the kingdom of men. This reality is 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 orchestrated by Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, and He's promoting us, which is why you see us coming out with this truth. Which is why you see you're seeing Him set us in order before your eyes. Psalm seventy five. And five, lift not up your horn on high, speak not with a stiff neck for promotion, which is what's happening with the nation of Israel. The elect were being promoted for promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. All right. So no. So so all the rulerships, all the kingdoms are promoted by Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. You Edomites were promoted all right, to be above us until this time now, until the end of your rule, until the end of the world. Now the Lord is seeing that you done, you can't do a good job, and that He's going to put His people back on top. The promotion in this reality is orchestrated by Yahweh Bashem Yahshai in the heavens. Psalm seventy-five and six: For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But Yahweh is the judge; He putteth down one and setteth up another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup. What do we just read about in Lamentations four and twenty-one? We just read about that cup. And who the Lord decides who he gonna give that cup to, that cup of slavery, rape, robbery, murder, that, that cup, that cup of oppression, that cup of being at the bottom. Alright? The Lord is about to give that cup to you, Edomites, man. And he's giving it to you. He's he he's he's starting to hand that cup to you. That's why you're going and you're catching and you're a part of the fentanyl opioid epidemic, man. Because the Lord is he, he is promoting Israel and he's handing that cup to you, Edomites, man. Psalm 75 and 8, for in the cup of the Lord there is a cup, for in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, excuse me, and the wine is red, it is full of mixture, and it's talking about all the terrible things that you Edomites are about to go through, because the Lord gave us this cup, and we drink of it, that's why it tells you in, um, let me get it real quick. I think it's assuredly... Yep, Jeremiah, because we drank that cup. The nation of Israel, we, we're finishing our cup. We drank it down. Now it's time for you Edomites to drink that same cup. Jeremiah 49 and 12, for thus saith Yahweh, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup, that was the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, have assuredly drunken. We drank our cup. All right, now the Lord is, 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 is promoting us. He's going to take that cup away from us. 
Okay? And he, and it said in Psalm 75 that he is in control of whoever gets that cup, which is being on the bottom, being the bottom nation, being the nation that goes and lends from everybody. That has been us, but now the Lord is turning and giving that cup over to somebody else, you biblical Edomites. Jeremiah 49 and 12, For thus saith the Lord, Behold, they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Are you Edomites not going to get the cup as well? You're definitely going to get the cup. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. All right, let's go back to Psalm 75. The Lord said you're going to drink this cup, and that's what's happening, man. The tables are turning, so to speak. This is uh, back in Psalm 75, and I'm going to end up here. I don't want to make it too long because i got to go to slavery. Psalm 75 and 8, for in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and he poureth out of the same. But the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. Okay? But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. And that's what you're seeing, man. All right. The horns of the wicked are being cut off through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yashai. And Yahweh Bashem Yashai is exalting the horn of the righteous. And with that, he's handing you Edomites and you other nations that cup. All right. That cup <laughs> that he always poured out without mixture, man. Full of terrible things. All right, and that's what's coming for you. Call law you like Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakudash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone for teaching and ruling on the scriptures. Citations to you, Akim, across the world, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity and with charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.